Hey guys, what's going on? Shabby Do here, bringing you another episode of Forger in 2020. Trying to see if this game is worth it to play either for your first time or especially for a second playthrough if you've never played with the new nuclear expansion. And I definitely will say I, I love this game either way, even if, um, you know, I'm always going to say it's worth it. It's always worth it to go back and play a great game, even if it's the same game as it was when you played it a year ago. I'll always go back to certain games, even if the content's mildly the same. But, you know, on that note, what I want to do is I've got a couple things built up and I want to show you some new stuff. So first of all, let me build a little bridge here. So we popped up this little guy here and it's just a little puzzle. You can see it's got like a shape here and a color is the same up here. So it's just to put in a ruby, an emerald, a topaz and an amethyst. And I just wanted to wait for you guys before I put that in there because then it'll spawn a chest here. So that's the first one. We'll go make a key for that and come back and open that in a second. The second one was I opened this up because... Oh, oh, this guy's pissed. I opened up another island just to see what was going on and I got these bone piles. So let's see what happens here when I attack these things. Oh man, they got some health. Alright, this will take a second. Let's go. I'm getting bones from it, though. You can see my bones going up in the bottom left there. Oh, big boy. What up? Doom chest? Open it? Open a skull chest? Okay. Got a spirit orb. Um, You know what I want to do, though? Mm, nah, it's fine. All right. And these spirit orbs, I don't... Yeah, we. Sh I showed on the last one. Uh, You know, use it to increase your stats. So use... I'm going to keep going with stamina, just because I love getting my stamina higher. Stamina to me is numero uno. And I know you can hear that little noise in the background, a little ka-ching. I'm going to show you what that is in a second there. Very excited. Awesome. Another skull chest. And another one of those. Hopefully those bad boys start spawning here because I need I need those skull heads, so. Alright, let's buy some land. So that one's 39. That's seven. Let's do this one for 37 right here. Ooh. Okay. What's going on down here? I just want to check for dig spots too, real quick. I don't know why, but I haven't seen like any dig spots lately in my Cemetery area, and I need those badly. Alright. Get a couple bridges here real quick. So I can cut back. Ooh. Little puzzle. Talk about that in a second. Alright, so let's see. So these skeletons are becoming a big problem. I think this should be like some little wily voice. It'd be great if you could help me get rid of them. Bring me a hundred bones and I will reward you. I just sold a bunch of bones, so we'll, we'll get those back pretty quickly, though. Yeah, 84. We'll, we'll get that back soon. Well, I'm going to write this down real quick. <clears throat> 618. Okay, perfect. I'm going to show you why I wrote that down. Actually, I don't know if I have the island yet. No, you know what? I don't. So you're, it is part of a puzzle. Um, so though, you'll see those spawn randomly on the map. And we got to find a puzzle that it belongs to and write those, write the code in as we, fi as we find them. So here is another thing I was telling you about. So before... Thank you. Use you. Oh, Giraffe, I need you to not do things for a second. Thank you. So these are the lighthouse I was telling you about. <clears throat> so what these do, let's pop, I'll pop up the description here. So this will provide light in the dark and increase nearby item drops. So what that means, and this overlaps, so you can see kind of the circle radius is here and there's a big overlap like right here in the center. A little bit down here, not so much. Perfect example just popped up over here. But let's, okay, you're going to come up here. So we'll, we'll kill this guy real quick. Come here. Come up here. I want to bring them like all the way into the circle radius that I can. Hey. Alright, you dick. So, look, he dropped 
10 coins because of my sword and 11 horns. Now, usually you only get a couple horns. A good example here will be this Cinderbane. You know when you hit a flower, you get one back, right? There's a couple overlaps here. So if I hit this, I just got five of them. Okay. Now let's use this iron node here as an example. Back up. So look, 10 stone, 1 ruby, 7 coal, and 17 iron. So lighthouses are goddamn overpowered in this game. It's an it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm building them here because this is a nice little island to build them around. And then what I'll do is I'll just spawn stuff on it later. So and it and it also, you know, it overlaps up here too. So ooh, merchant. What you doing? Onyx, Obsidian, I'll take that. I don't know what these void portals do. Don't want to check them out yet, though. Look at all that. It's it's freaking amazing. Flax, or fiber, 10. So it's honestly, it's just awesome. Do I have a good... That's foliage. That's instant boost. I oh, guess I'll use that. No reason not to, right? There's a level up. Um, speaking of scrolls, so now is... So, let's take a look at our skills here. So I've progressed a little bit. Obviously, we got the lighthouse here. We saw that in the last one. I finally got the automation, so the mining rod. Uh, we could go up here and do mining rods deal double damage. I might hold off because I don't really care too much at the moment. Um, I also went down here and got the quarry. I don't have what I need to make it yet, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Could do the bow. Enemies drop coins when killed, so I can get some more coins. But you know what I want to do? I want to start. I want to start getting into alchemy and inscription here. So let's do. Uh, uh, we'll do inscriptions. I might need to get alchemy afterwards, anyways. I don't really remember, but potions and scrolls cost fewer resources to craft. That'll be very useful. All right. Magic is not to be overlooked in this game. Really nothing is. It's it's just such a crazy game where everything matters. It's the opposite of whose line. Alright, just taking a quick peek over here. Yeah, nothing great going on. Nothing really still. All right, how many amethysts do I have? One still. Amethysts are killing me right now. Absolutely kill me. I built some more markets here because, well, I just need more markets. I should have made enough brick here. Let's see if I can build one more market. Yep. Just drop you. Ah, stupid tree. Is it you? Are you my problem or was I the problem? Definitely could have been the problem. Oh, it's, the, it's this little spot right there. Even though it like, doesn't actually sit on it, but, you know. <gasps> Amethyst. Boom. I need those. Need those bad. Um, Druid scrolls. Star scrolls. Star scrolls are usually decent. Bottle rainbow. Uranium. Yeah, I just start building more of these just so I can see more items like gold. Yeah, take gold all day. Slime wall, purple dye. All useful later. Food. I, I can't wait to buy one of these and just see what they do. Oop, yep, royal. Greedy mixtures. I'll take those in a second. Um, fairy statue. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Sell that. Need those bones. Sell that. Sell the druid scroll. Sell the eggs. Oh, I got another spirit orb. I forgot about that. I'm use that. Get rid of paper. Oh, you know what? I need that paper. Oh, well. Too bad. So sad. Alright. So, let's move on to the next thing I wanted to show you guys. Let me grab some cash, actually, real quick. Good enough. I just want to get that item in the shop before it goes away. I want these. Okay. So, oh, stupid fishing. So, what this is, is this is the mining rod. I know there's a skill to increase the mining rod radius, and that's definitely something I'm going to want, because those are expensive. This one? 
lightning or lighthouses, mining rods. Yeah, we're doing that next. I actually should have done that now, but sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, give it to me. All right, so yeah, that'll make it bigger. So you can see it'll hit everything in this radius. Does this count? Nope, sure doesn't. All right, I want to show it to you, but you know, oh wait, oh yeah, it doesn't hit enemies. That's the ballista. That's okay. Fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Use this. More stamina. Okay. Jerks. If I had that scroll, I would just spawn a bunch of stuff to show you. But it's fine, I said. It's fine. Alright, so I'm just checking in. So yeah, for the next shovel, we need steel. So let's get some steel working, actually. Get you going. For the pickaxe, we need five more of those and some steel. Sword, same thing, five great skulls. And for the wallet, we need a Kapala artifact, which is found in the ground. Big backpack, we need some royal clothing. I'm hurting for amethyst right now, so that's not my focus. Uh, boots and gloves, we need those skulls as well. Tons of them. So yeah, that's that's where we're at up there. So yeah, everything in the game is just a grind, but it's a it's an enjoyable grind at least. It's not like this. Ooh. Can hit that? There it goes. See? Boom! Look at that. It's awesome. Thing is the tits. Boy, I spent so long to get that. So, in order to get that, let's go through the steps real quick here. So, first off, we'll look at the skills. Need a couple skills. First of all, you need manufacturing. You have to have a factory. Okay? Then, obviously, you need automation. So, the quickest way to get there when you start is industry, sewing, craftsmanship, manufacturing, railroads, and then automation. Now, a couple things that help you along the way 100% uh, trading because you can probably you can buy gems sometimes. Uh, prospecting, way down here, rocks have a 10% more chance of dropping gems and increase the chance of finding rare items when digging by 30%. Major benefit for this. Obviously, so along the way, you need, getting mining, rocks drop 40% more minerals. Geology, all rock drop coal is helpful along the way. And then the prospecting and then quarries help immensely as well. I think I need one more amethyst to get that done though. Right? Yep, four. Keeping that in my inventory because I want to keep an eye on them. So, and then with that, so you build the factory. So mine's going to be a little different because I've already built one. But I'm pretty sure it was 10 glass. It is 100% 5 royal steel. And then whatever bricks. No one cares about bricks. It's easy to get bricks. But the five royal steel is what hurts. So to get royal steel, over here, royal steel, you need one steel, a ruby, an emerald, a topaz, an amethyst, and four coal. It's these gems that just suck your life away. And as you can tell, I've got a decent amount of the other ones. It's the amethyst that I've been hurting for. So to make it, you're going to need five of each gem. And then you make... Then you get the factory here. This is what it looks like. And then at the factory, you need to make two electronic components, okay? Which is two royal steel, five obsidian, which I haven't even found in game yet, and five crystal, which is in the north. I bought the obsidian from a store, and I actually bought the crystal as well. And so you need to have an additional four royal steel. So all day, to make your first mining rod, you need to get... What is that? That's nine royal steel. And that's the main issue. So it's getting nine gems. Nine of each gem, I should say, very specifically. Because right here, industrial mining rod. It's, it's still two electronics. So yeah, it's just two electronics and some brick. So yeah, to get your very first one, you're going to need nine of every gem. It's a fucking pain. It is awful. But it gets it gets easy. Like, watch, I'm going to... I'm going to show you one thing here. So let's let's see about this inscriptor. Uh, magical inscripting table. I'm going to put you kind of off canter because I don't need it with the rest of this stuff here. How great would that have been if that was an amethyst? All right, so the paper, I need wooden flowers. Yeah, make that for me. And then we can, right now we can get some basic stuff. So dyes, which we can get into as we go. And then scrolls. So these are some great stuff. So grants an instant boost of experience. Awesome. 
not the hardest to get. Green pigment. No, that was down here. What do we need? Purple pigment, cactus in a bottle. Purple pigment. What's green pigment? Don't even have purple yet. I think that might be at the alchemist station. But we're going to get that molded book here. We're going to make that next, actually. Four paper. We'll go get some more flowers in a second. But what's awesome is the scrolls. So, like we saw with the sage, uh, instant boost of experience. Builder, boost the efficiency of nearby structures. So, like, we can increase the speed that these are pumping. And then the druid scroll spawn natural resources around you. So, that's your flowers and your trees. Amazing. So, yeah, that's some big stuff to work on right there. So we're going to get those going. Here, look, a couple flowers. Boom, boom. I think that's right where I need to be. Oh, kill three enemies with a single slash. Cool. Boss status. All right. Now, hold on. Let's, take a, let's just go take a look back down here at our lightning. Or lighthouses. Yep, not so much. Boom. 15. Thank you. Can I build another lighthouse? <laughs> oh, it's just good. It's better. It's just going to be such an overpowered zone. It's awesome. What's great later is like when you get the dem demolisher so you can like even destroy island blocks and you get landfills, you can create the size of the island you want so you can pretty much have them very specific sizes later. When you don't need all the stuff around and you can create it so that the island is completely surrounded by lighthouses except for like one path to get into it and then you just go in dig spawn things and create an absolute mess and it'll be a beautiful beautiful mess but more on that later when we get there boom on three flowers no lighthouses one flower one flower that one might give us two i think oops Boop. I think it was two or three. Berries. Oh, you know what? Here's a perfect example. Hold on. Let's do this. You ready? Let's go get a bunch of wheat. Let's get uh let's get two sets of seeds. So let's do um no, let's do flower seeds. We need flowers, right? I'll make four seeds. Come back to that in a second. Go down here. This is gonna be fun. So I don't think I can. It's awkward because of this tower in the way here, too. I really wanted to like demolish them and start at the bottom, but it's 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 all right. It's what it is at this point, you know. So let's do this farming. Let's build a sprinkler. Okay, I can't put it there, but well, I'm gonna do it right there, and I'll just put it here. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Just to kind of give us an example of how great some of these things work. These lighthouses very specifically. Crafted items are automatic. Yeah, when you build the binding rod, uh, crafting items automatically go to your inventory as well. So I'm just up here checking the checking the stock of items real quick. Always make sure to check on them. Like bones, yeah. You could buy those. Complete that quest, but I don't need to. We'll complete it naturally. Food. Fiberglass? If I had the money, I'd buy it, but I don't care right now. Sage scrolls? Experience. Fine. Oh, I'm missing some money. Is that enough? That's enough. But you can't... Oh, another royal steel? Um... Yeah, goodbye. Okay, cool. Oh, ooh, minor scrolls. Hold on. Give me that. Uh, I need to sell stuff. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um, I need 253. Oh, you know what? I don't need to sell. I've got banks. GP, GP banks. Hello. Give me your money. Thank you. I'm going to show you why I want these minor scrolls here. Awesome. All right. First, let's show you the efficiency of the lighthouse with seeds. Oh, of course. It's alright. Oh, 
Obviously, I'm not getting the full effectiveness because I'm missing this spot and this spot. Again, it's just an example. As I, I'll probably put some landfill in just to fix the island size somewhat. There we go. All right, perfect. And we'll come look at that in a bit. So I'll just drop these two underneath here. They still grow without sprinklers. Sprinklers just make them faster, FYI. All right, we'll come back to that. We'll come back. We got some other things to do here. So, yeah. Don't look at that. It's... I'm sorry. It's ugly. Still waiting for a dinosaur egg. Yeah, I know my energy's low. When I when I lose my heart, it'll give me a third of it back, so it's fine. This had restocked, so animal lures, nature floors. Um, Builder scrolls, I'm fine without those. Since flowers, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Is that an instrument? And golden gets Ooh, well cloth. I had the money. Alright. Ooh, three great skulls. Yeah, I'll take it just because we're hurting on those right now. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a obelisk. Gain bonus XP from double from chopping down trees. Cool. Sure. Get right on that. Okay. Oh yeah, we never made the key. Let's make the key, and then in that time that we go do that and go back, maybe those flowers will be ready, so we can check that out. Ah, I'm like stuck behind these rocks. All right, perfect. Flowers are ready. Let's hit this first one right here. Eleven. Another eleven. So we're at thirteen. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine five. So it's on the outer circle. Of that one. That one's eleven. Eleven flowers. Fifty-one. Sixty-two. Eleven flowers. Go to this side here. These ones in the center. Seventy-three. So was that was that twenty-one? Did I say we we're at fifty-two? So seventy-three. Damn things in the way. Hold on. I'm just gonna. Had a pretty hard time here with this one. Maybe we, this is kind of stuck here, but we got over 100 flowers again, just from planting. Four batches of seeds was at 4p, so 16 flowers. Use lighthouses. These, worthless. Because even if I just went and sold all those flowers, those are cheap. Flowers don't cost much, but, oh, I think I have them in, they're in a bin up there, so we're not going to see my inventory. I have two keys. Oh, I must have made a double batch. Cool. Um, You know, you can just start growing wheat then turn it all in the seeds, and then you can sell the seeds. Then you get tons of XP and money. So, points at the location of the nearest star. Starfalls happen more frequently. Oh, cool. Okay. These things are getting a mess. I need gold, so you ready? Let's go back to here. Get rid of this. And I can't get rid of those. That's kind of annoying. Uh -huh. Fine. It's fine. 
So I'm going to wait for these ones to disappear. So we'll just, just go away for a second. Is there anything back here? Oh, my zebra. Or my drone. Yeah, my zebra. You know what I'm going to do too? We're just going to blow up all of these and take them down there with me too. Yes, I am losing a portion of everything I put in there. Just some. Not all of it. Just some. Okay. Um, do I have? Yeah. I'm going to put those in there. Start putting some stuff away again. The obsidian, I'll put those in there. This one's got an empty spot. Usually they get empty spots just because I use up everything. And I don't have the skill, so I can lock them because I don't think it's that important. Ooh, I got it. Okay, so what I want to do... I'm going to use that miner scroll. So, first of all, sage scroll. Use that. How much do we get? 1646? 2014, 1646, like 350, not quite. Or no, it was like 370, but not quite. Alright. So now minor scroll. Use. So it spawns all of these goodies. But it's in our radius here of these lighthouses. So that means we're just going to get a ton more resources here. Come here, giraffe. I just don't want you to pick it up. I want to see the gold drop in the first one. I can't see it because he's standing there. We'll do the crystal here. Hopefully the bug's not in the way. <laughs> oh, stuff is in the way. 16. Okay, so we have 16 crystals, right? So we got th 23 crystals there. From one. So... This is why lighthouses are awesome, because then you start making scrolls, and then you go to those islands with, with your lighthouses surrounding them, and you just start popping your scrolls, and you get what you need. Like what we're... Oh, and you know what I'm going to do, too? I bought these greedy mixtures. Greed is good. Greedy. Coins are worth more. Oh, these are the coin ones? Damn. Coins spawn when attacking things. Well, that's, that's awful. I thought... Hold on. Let's, let's check the shop here real quick. Oh, these haven't respawned yet. One second. There we go. See if we get lucky. Nope, didn't get lucky. It's alright. So, I thought it was the ones that increased my luck. There's a potion that increases your luck, so it makes it so you get a better chance of getting gems and whatnot as well. So I wanted to use that while we we're breaking all these. But yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you as a good benefit to why use lighthouses. And why I was telling you before that lighthouses are overpowered and you don't need banks. I mean, I could take all this here and then just go sell it all. Like if I sold... Like if I just got a bunch of gold there and just sold it, you know, gold ore. Like obviously I didn't get all 300 of this now. It's, oh, it's only two apiece, but, you know, it it's free stuff. All I have to do is get stuff to make scrolls and then just start selling all this. Like crystals, actually. What does a crystal sell for? I don't know. Hold on. I got, I got them up here. Uh, where are you? There you are. Sells for five each. So, there you go. Do the same thing with trees. You can do the same thing with animals. There's scrolls for everything. Then it works for digging as well, for getting sand later on. So that's why it's great when you get an upgraded uh, 
shovel. So yeah, so this is why you do lighthouses and why I was saying don't bother with banks to get gold. If anything, just go straight to lighthouses, do this, and then just sell everything you make from the islands that are surrounding it. Because as these get bigger, you know, stuff will spawn here. I could put a mining rod down here, and it'll mine all this for me, and then it's just, everything will just always keep coming my way. You know, same with the little bits up here that spawn in. So, you know, it's just a waiting game at that point, and then you're just going to keep on getting more and more and more. And then you just keep selling, right? It's not a waste at that point. Like, this is the exact reason you do certain stuff like this and just sell. And it's how you can get level ups insanely quick because when you can farm enough materials to build tons of lighthouses, you know, we're getting like, you know, 30 to 40 a pop on some of these. But if we had this whole thing surrounded, you're talking getting, uh, people get billions of items over time, you know, or just a million items even. Ooh, star fell. So, and then you just sell one quick stack. You've just earned enough money to unlock every single island in two seconds. Obviously, not two seconds because you get a build up to that spot. But and then you can go, and then you would get max level most likely at that point because you would have sold a million items, then you would have gotten XP from it. So that's why lighthouses are broken. And we'll do a separate video on lighthouses in depth when we're at like the absolute end game of this, just so I can show that exact scenario to you and not and it not be theoretical like it is right now like i'll build a custom island once we have the demolisher and all that surround it perfectly with lighthouses and then we're just gonna make a ton of money just in a ridiculous amount of time like nothing at that point in the game so all right guys but i'm gonna wrap this video up with that i want to just kind of show you a couple of the puzzles around here that we were doing show you the mining rod that we got up here oh there's my Oh, thank God it missed. When these things fall, they destroy stuff they hit, so. We got five minutes? Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to show you these lighthouses, because now I'm starting to build them. And I want to show you why they're broken. And why we're going to start using them now, because we're getting towards the end game here, so. Um, these are just start. These are just great to get going. Alright, guys. But this has been Shabby Doo. Hit that like and subscribe button down below if you are like what you're seeing, just so I can know you're enjoying these Forager videos, and if you want to see something else, maybe this isn't in everyone's flavor, let me know down below as well. I would love to know what you guys want to see, and so uh, I can jump into that and give you some content you do want if this isn't it. All right, guys. Again, this has been Shabby Doo. Have a good night.